So knees close together or wide, untuck your toes, hips to heels, forehead down. And just take a few long breaths here, feeling your shoulder blades soften down. Taking a size up the mouth. Last breath. Let your next inhale bring you forward, shoulders over fingertips, and you can adjust your knees so they're about hip distance apart. Start to move through a mini vinyasa, so bend your elbows, come down to your belly. Inhale, peel your chest up, and then slowly float down. Press to your plank pose on the knees, and then bring your hips back to a child's pose. Be more like this, inhale, brings you forwards. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, find your back bend, and exhale, lower. Press your arms straight, and hips back the heels. Last one like this, inhale, forwards. Exhale, down. Inhale, peel up, exhale, lower. Press your arms straight, plank, and hips to heels, child's pose. One big breath here. You're coming forwards again, make your way to your belly, but stay on your belly this time. So you might be a little bit different, reach your arms out wide, palms face down. I'll keep my head up, you can place your forehead down if you'd like. Press your hips down, press your feet down, and then lift your arms up so you feel the shoulder blades hug in, and lower your arms down. So if you don't want to feel the neck as much, you can have the forehead down, lift and lower. Last three. Find that length of the spine, last two. Last one, lift, hold. Maybe lift your chest up a little higher, maybe lift your head off the ground. Keep your feet rooted for three, two. And bring your hands, plant them beside your ribs. Keep the upper back engaged. Press back to plank pose on the knees. And then tuck your toes back to downward dog for a moment. Pedal up to your feet, whatever you need, rock side to side. Shift your weight forwards, come to all fours. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Find your neutral spine, extend your right leg out behind you, floating the foot, and then reach your left arm up in front of you. Find that length. This is your inhale. Exhale, curl in, elbow to knee, make yourself small. Inhale, find your length. A few more like this. Curl in. Inhale, lengthen. Three more. Curl in. Lengthen. Last two, reaching out, and last one, reach out, lengthen with your foot, keep your foot lifted, plant your hand down. From here, root your toes down to the ground, and then you're going to swivel your right heel down, left foot kickstands behind you, reach your right arm up, open up through your chest. One big breath, and then plant your hand back down. Step back, downward facing dog. One big breath. And then come back to all fours. Other side, left leg out behind you, root to the heel, right arm out in front of you, inhale, lengthen. Then exhale, curl in, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach out. One more like this, curl in. And reach out. Last three. Last two. Last one, reach up to your leg, plant your hand, root your toes down, kickstand your right foot behind you, left foot reach down for your side plank, open up to your chest. One big breath. And then look down, hand down, step back. Plank pose, pausing here, broaden through the chest, find the strength of the core, and then press your hips back, downward facing dog. From your downward dog, lift your right leg up high. You can do this from cat instead if you'd like. And then pull your right knee in towards your nose, gently step your foot between your hands. Rising up, high lunge. If you need low lunge, you can always go there if you need. Option to stay or bring hands behind head like you're prepping for a sit up and start to lean your head back into your hands, find a nice back bend, pressing 
the hips forward. I honestly find this more of like a hip stretch in the back bend. One more breath here. And peel your chest forward, find a neutral spine for the front ribs, hug in your tailbone, lengthen down a bit. And then bring your hands to the hips. Keep the hips square and slowly keep like elevating your way down. Gently place your knee on the ground. If you need a pillow, roll up your mat. Shift your hips forward to a point that feels okay for you. Sweep your arms up. This is your inhale. Exhale, pull your hips back, sweep the arms back. Send your front leg straight, flex your foot, half splits. Okay, bend the knee, plant the foot, sweep forward, slow lunge. And then pull your hips back, sweep back. Find your breath. Last three. Last two. Last one each way. Next time you sweep back, pause in the sweep back, split back. And then lift your torso up. Hands connect to your chest. Okay, here's the fun part. Can you pivot your front, your right foot down? Okay, extend your left foot behind you. And you might need to use your hands to help if you have a super sticky mat. Okay. Open your arms up. And then gently place your left hand to the ground. Find a side plank. Open up through your chest. If you'd like a little extra option, lift your right leg up. Option is here, kick your bum, maybe grab hold of your foot, find a little back bend. One breath here, whatever variation you want. And if you chose the lifted foot, place your foot back down, tend onto your left fingertips, rising up. Here is a weird one I just learned yesterday. Stay lifted. Option one, stay. Option two, can you lift your extended leg and then plant it down? Two more. Lift, hold, plant it down. Lift, you'll feel the hit, that's the intention. Facial expressions help. Can you lift it up and hold, hold, hold? And then plant the foot down. Cool. Okay, and then from here, you're gonna windmill the hands the opposite way. And then come facing towards the back of your mat, step back, plank through vinyasa. Straight to down dog or child's pose. One big breath here. And then right away, we'll get to the other side. Lift your left leg up high. Pull your left knee to nose, curl in. Option from all fours instead. Plant your left foot forwards in between your hands. Keep your arms up. Okay. Option, keep the arms lifted or whatever you want to do with your arms. What I've been loving lately is hands behind head, elbows wide, lean the head back. Keep driving the hips forward as you feel your chest open. And I find that when you press the hips forward, it helps with balance as well. Because when you start to lean back, that sort of tests the balance and makes it feel weird. Okay. Stay in your high lunge, pull your chest forward, pull the belly in, and lengthen your tail down. Almost like a little tuck, not quite. And then hands the hips. And that squaring up of the hips and then bring the feet down towards each other helps you slowly resist your way down to the ground. Gently place your knee down. Nice. Okay, hips forwards again. So again, that helps, personally, my brain get around balance. Reach your arms up, hips forwards, and then hips back, extend your front leg straight, flex to the foot. A few more like this, reach forwards, and the knee, plant the foot, and then pull back. If you're finding balance weird, you can always adjust where that front foot is. This still feels weird, I agree. It's, this is a wobbly one, that's fine. This class is all about finding that fluid movement, just getting into the body, out of the head. Okay, next thing, reach back, pause. Keep the legs the same, lift your torso up, connect your hands, and then if your mat's not too grippy, extend your foot back and your shin back. And <laughs> that is super grippy. Okay. Arms reach out, and then bring your right hand down to the ground. And then reach up to the left hand, put on your chest. Okay, layer one, here, layer two, lift your leg up, layer three, bend your knee, grab your foot, puff up to the chest. Now the layers aren't necessarily more challenging, they're just different, it depends on what you're feeling today, what you feel you need, because no pain, no gain never works. 
and then reach out, foot back down to the ground, slowly rising up. Okay, weird version of feet latch pose round two. I find reaching the arms out helps, and then I pretend my foot can touch my hand. So you're gonna lean a little bit, and then lift your left foot up, and lower it down. Two more. Lift up, make sure those expressions help. Lower it down. Last one, can you lift up higher and hold? This side might feel easier, it might feel harder. And then plant the foot down, windmill the hands down, step back, plank pose through the last vinyasa, or straight to down dog, child's pose if you're like, heck no, we get it. Two big breaths wherever you chose. And slowly come down to your knees, hips back to heels, child's pose. Time to start winding down. Take any size, soften shoulders and neck. Maybe swing side to side, feels good. And then plant your hands in front of your knees, start to roll up to a low kneeling position. Right away, transition to your bum. Switching towards the front of your mat. Take a moment and seated hands behind you. Just take a slow windshield wipe of your legs side to side. Maybe press your hips forwards. Maybe lean your torso the opposite way. And I'll make our way down to our backs. Fast or slow. Hug your knees to chest when you arrive. Head, shoulder blades, hips, relax down. Start to make some knee circles. Doesn't have to be super organized circle, whatever works for you. Okay. Finding a whale's tail, plant your feet, right knee to left knee, so you're just crossing your legs essentially. Option, feet stay on the ground if that feels best, or hike your shins in. Okay, sides, letting everything go. You might start to hear the rippling water, and that is my cat's fountain, so he stops jumping in the shower as often. Okay, keep your knees into chest, arms out long, and lean your legs over to the left. So this is the twisted root version of a twist. So if you don't like this, it's a little bit more for the hips and low back. You can unravel your legs and just stack your shins instead. One big breath. Gather the, the abdominals a bit, bring your legs back to center, unravel, do a little shake out, and then other side, left knee to right knee, hook your shins in, or keep your feet on the ground. This is a combo I've been really liking to end with for most types of practice lately. So I feel funny, I guess it's the outer hips, low back, mid back. And keep your legs the same, drop them over to the right this time. You might both hit a desk right beside you. Two more breaths. Lock the center. Rubbing your legs, extend all four limbs up to the ceiling. Option just for stillness and grounding through the spine. Or get a little shake out to your limbs, whatever feels good for you. And then find a resting shape. So that could be lying down for you. It could be seated. It could be something else. Just take five breaths to check in and soften. Okay, 
Notice what's going on for you today. Notice what muscles you can let go of a bit more. And then if you'd like to stay on your back, you are more than welcome because you are at home. <laughs> or when you feel ready, you can hug your knees in in any way that feels like it resonates with you. Slowly make your way up into a seat. Hands either on your thighs or somewhere on your chest, whatever feels best for you. And thank yourself for carving out time for you. That was a fiery one. And sometimes with power flow, you associate it with arm balances or crazy postures. Lately, my power flow has been finding that fluid moving, movement, finding that stability, finding weird balances, and getting strong that way. So thank you all for joining me.